Welcome to this short explainer video to demonstrate how to deploy the Sense Anywhere asset tag within your system. We will assume for the purposes of the video that you have an existing system, some loggers registered with loggers assigned to alarm templates and loggers assigned to scheduled reports such as your daily, weekly or monthly report. We will also assume that you have some experience navigating the portal. As you can see from our demonstration, we have a fridge and a Sense Anywhere logger inside currently monitoring. The asset tag that we are going to introduce to the system is as shown here with an adhesive label, a serial number and a QR code. The first thing we're going to do is register the asset tag to the system and then couple the logger to the asset tag so the asset tag takes over all your licensing, alerting, reporting and audit trail information. Once logged in, we go to Management, Register Device and enter the serial number at the bottom of the asset tag underneath the barcode. We enter this serial number into the system. If you want to couple a logger that is new to the system, not part of an alarm template or reporting schedule, then here you can just click Couple. For our demonstration purposes, the logger is part of an existing alarm profile and reporting schedule. So here we click continue. Now going back to management and then selecting sensor, we can now see that we have an extra button available to us called manage assets. Click that. Now we can see the asset tag that we have just registered. We will rename this to something more appropriate so this is easily identifiable within the system. We will also check the QR public checkbox. This will allow you to scan the barcode with your mobile phone, which will then give you instant access to the temperature reading of the sensor within the fridge. As the existing logger is already part of an alarm profile and reporting schedule, we now have to deselect the logger from the alarm profile and assign the newly registered asset tag. It will be available in the drop down list. The report schedule is edited in the same way. To successfully be able to couple the logger to the asset tag, the logger cannot be part of an existing alarm or report schedule. The logger also has to be online. This is the reason why we went through the previous steps of removing the logger from the alarm and reporting schedules. If we now go back to overview and temperature, we can now see the asset tag is assigned the alarm profile as indicated here on screen with the limits of zero to 25 Celsius. The logger no longer has an alarm profile associated with it. So any alerts are now raised from the asset tag and not the logger. Now the asset tag is registered to the system, we need to firstly separate the QR code from the barcode. We do this by simply snapping the barcode off. We then attach the QR code to our asset, namely our fridge, and the barcode is then attached to the bracket of the logger. We are now at the point where everything is in place with the asset tag, bar some actual data. We need to couple the logger to the asset tag, as currently the asset tag has no data associated with it. So we go back into the system under Management and Sensor, and then select the Manage Asset button. This then shows our asset tag, which we registered a moment ago. Now we would like to couple the logger to the asset tag by selecting the button on the right hand side of the screen with the linked chain icon. Once clicked, you will be presented with a new screen giving you three options, couple, swap and decouple. For the purposes of this demonstration, this is a new asset tag registration and we would like to couple our existing logger in the fridge to the asset. We will demonstrate how to swap a logger with the asset in a later part of the video.
The couple moment is a very important selection that needs to be made. If you have an existing system and are upgrading to asset tag, and you want to transfer all historical data recorded by the logger to your asset tag, then you must select the device's registration date. If you have a new system and are not concerned about historical data, then you can select the current time. Once selected, pressing the check button will instruct the system to run checks before the successful coupling of the logger to the asset tag can be completed. These checks are related to the alarm profiles and reporting schedules and the online status of the logger. Once completed and successful, the following messages are displayed in green. If there is an error, then the message will be displayed in red with a reason given as to why the coupling cannot be made. In our case, we have been successful and now can click the green couple button. Now, your historical data alerting and reporting features together with licensing are now based from the asset tag. Any future credits applied to the system for licensing are, no are now made against the asset tag and not the logger. We have now arrived at the time where you now need to send your loggers away for calibration. What you need to do here is swap a replacement logger with the one currently coupled to your asset tag. This is a very simple process. It can be done using the software as we have previously shown with the coupling of the logger. In this case, you would just select swap. But for this demonstration, we will show you how to do it using your smartphone. As long as your smartphone has internet access and a QR code reader. The logger needs to be acclimatized for at least 20 minutes to half an hour before the logger swap takes place. The replacement logger, as was with the coupling, must not be part of any alarm profile, an active alarm or reporting schedule or already assigned to an asset tag. The simple reason for this is if you were to put a logger which is outside of the alarm set point when the logger swap takes, immediately the logger will be in an alert condition. We turn the QR reader on and scan the asset tag attached to the fridge. On this particular phone, the link is automatically displayed. We click the link and we are presented with an overview of the current status of the logger, showing current, temperature, alarm limits, signal strength, battery life and its location. We go to the bottom of the page and click the Couple, Swap and Decouple button. The next page pops up, we select the Swap button. If you receive a message you are not authorised to view, then you must enable the QR public checkbox in the Management, Sensors, Edit Logger page of the portal. The drop-down list gives you an available set of loggers that can be swapped. Unregistered is an option to add any logger that is not part of your own fleet, such as a rental logger or a damaged replacement. Withnal Sensors has a fleet of rental loggers available for when your logger is away for calibration. This logger swap can also be considered for loggers that have been damaged and require replacing. You can add a remark that will be recorded in the Logosop audit trail if you have the Pro or Enterprise account. Click the swap button and that's it. Your new replacement logger is now supplying data to the asset tag. You can go to Management Sensor and click Manage Assets to view the swap status of your logger. You now have a seamless transaction of loggers with no interruption no interruption of data trends or alerts. You can now remove the old logger from its bracket and replace it with the replacement logger. To verify the transaction, you can scan the QR code and click the link. All the updated information should be available to view. Click the graph icon for a data trend. Or click the certificate icon, which is the one on the top right hand side, to view a copy of the current calibration certificate 
assigned to the asset tag. Thanks for your time. If you have any further questions regarding the SenseAnywhere system or indeed the asset tag, please do not hesitate to get in touch.